Hi, Sterling. This is Jennifer Bone, librarian at the Belleville Campus Library. And I just wanted to show you some steps to go through so you might be able to find a book that relates to your topic. Now, I went directly to Google because I thought I wanted to try your search in the resource called Google Books. To access Google Books, you can just type in Google Books into the search box. You're going to get a results screen, and Google Books is going to be the first one that comes up for you. Once you click on that, you'll see Google with the little word books underneath, which will let you know you're in the right place. Now for the search term that I used, I typed in MLB, since you're focusing on Major League Baseball, the word and, and then I put the term revenue because that came from your question, the term and, and performance. And what I'm doing is trying to build almost like an equation to tell Google Books, I want a book that has the MLB mentioned, the word revenue mentioned, and the word performance mentioned. After I type that in, I just click on the little magnifying glass to search. Now what Google's been doing is they've been scanning large previews of books online and making them available to the public. So when they come up here, they're searching all of the words that you've typed in in the entire text of the book. Now you might not have access to all of the pages that you need to read, but just know that we can request any book you see here for free to come here at the library for you to pick up. It takes about three days for books to arrive, but we're always happy to do it, and it's a completely free service. Now this first book here, I thought, oh, this might be a great one for you to use. To view it, you'll see that it has the word preview down here, and to look inside, you can either click on the title or on the little preview button. When it comes up, it takes you directly inside to the page it thinks that will help you the most. I can see that right above where it kind of landed me, I'm in chapter four, measuring cost efficiency. In this paragraph here, it is talking about revenue and performance and how that can affect uh, everything that might be happening with Major League Baseball in, concerns to, in relation to your question. So just know that it starts that chapter right here. It does get <laughs> into some equations that are a little over my head, but I thought some of this background information right here might be a great piece of information for you to start with. If I hit my back button, well, before I get off of here, you'll see that there is a little shaded area behind the preview. To actually access that, because I can see that there is a Create Citation button here, I can close the reader by clicking on the X in the right-hand corner. Then I get taken to this little summary page that gives me a little bit about this particular title, and there is a Create Citation button right here, where I can copy and paste the MLA citation into an annotated bib type format, and then you can write a summary about the book. It does give you a summary right here, but you can't just copy and paste that into your annotated bib because that would be plagiarism. You would want to look at the book and make your own annotated bib. A good way to do that is if you click back on this preview button and look at it, you can see in the drop-down box there are some um, chapter titles mentioned. But if I scroll up in this particular book, all the way to the beginning. It's a lot of times it's easy to write an annotated bib just by looking at the chapter titles. So you can say in an annotated bib, these are the things that are covered and discussed in this particular book. And that you might be focusing on this particular chapter. So it looked like chapter four was the one that you might be focused in on. Now if we go back to our results page, In Google Books, there are other ones in here that may be just as successful to help you as well. Um, if we scroll down, I did see that this one, Handbook of Sports Economic Research, this one's from 2017 and does have a preview. This one is also taking you to a little bit. This book is mostly focused on soccer, but there was a section in here um, that mentioned a research study that was done. It says, in comparing payroll and performance using similar tests, these three uh, researchers present an interesting comparison of baseball to English soccer. They conclude that in Major League Baseball, performance leads to higher payroll, but payroll does not appear to lead to better performance. So that seems like that it might address your question very well. So what I did is I did a search and I typed in MLB, I just went to Google, typed in MLB, and I typed in those researchers' names, and I can see I can get a PDF of this particular study, 
Now this would be considered an article or a study, but it would add a lot to your research and kind of getting the details and comparisons. And you'll see the full text of that is gonna be right here. You can read it with this button or you can download a citation or download the full text with those buttons right there. If we go back to our Google Books link, I'm gonna click my reader closed. I can always grab my, pre my create citation button right here and get that citation for this particular book. But if I go back one more time, I did see there was another reference. It was coming from a journal. Let's see, where was that one? Baseball Research Journal, Volume 43, Issue 1. And this one is an article that says, What do your fans want? Attendance correlation with performance ticket prices and payroll factors. It looks like they might be referencing that same study in here, so it might be a little easier to evaluate, or it might be a completely different study. So you'd want to kind of take a look and see how that is helpful. Remember, if you need a citation, click the reader closed, find your create citation button, and you can grab it from there. Always remember to double check it. It is a machine that's putting it together, so they might not be putting it together very well. So double check that. All right, if you need any more help, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm glad that you emailed us. It's a wonderful thing to see research questions for us. So hope to hear from you soon, and I hope this all works out for you. Thanks. Bye.